You're listening to Snippets from the Summit with your host, Scott McKay. How's it going, gentlemen? This is Scott McKay, and you're listening to another Snippet from the Summit as part of the Mountaintop Podcast. Today, I want to address a topic I've never really heard anybody else ever talk about, and yet I know deep down it affects almost every man at one point or another. This is something that we as men instinctively know, even if it's at some sort of unconscious primal level buried deep within our psyche. What I'm going to talk about today, as difficult a topic as it is to really discuss out loud, and hey, maybe that's why nobody else really wants to cover it, it's not exactly a fun topic, even if it's important, is the worst insult a man can ever have leveled upon him. It's not that you're a simp. It's not that you're weak. It's not that you're a jerk. It's not that you're an asshole and it's not questioning his intelligence. It's not even questioning his sexual orientation or certainly any of those other silly or humorous insults we used to bandy about back in school and back in college with each other. All those are certainly negative, and none of them are any fun, but the one that really cuts men to the bone is, you're a loser. We as men are born to win. We're providers, we're protectors, and when we don't stand at the top of the podium, when we don't prevail, when we don't emerge victorious, we feel completely emasculated. We feel like we failed at our very core purpose as men, which is to win, which is to affect a positive outcome. Now, we as men love sports. We love competing. It is absolutely no accident that if there are women out there who love sports and who love to compete, they're in the minority among women. You know, that's measurable. And meanwhile, All of our wives and girlfriends typically couldn't care who wins or loses the game. They just want to throw the party, wear the colors, shake the pom-poms, and use whatever sports event is happening as a good, solid reason for them to socialize. But for us as men, it's a whole lot more primal. It's about defending your home turf against an enemy. The primary reason why you have the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots and the New York Yankees, and the Los Angeles Dodgers is because when the other team comes to town, they're trying to, well, rape and pillage your turf. They're trying to conquer you. And if you can defend against that other team beating you, well, then you've won a war. You've waged battle, emerged victorious, and we as men revel in that. It's primal. So when we go to another team stadium, we are attempting to conquer their homeland. And when we do, it's sometimes an even sweeter win because, hey, we were the away team, right? All of this primal energy comes home to roost when we as men are considered losers by other men for sure. And those of us who go around casually calling each other losers or very seriously calling each other losers can cause some deep wounds. It's an insult that is very, very effectively weaponized because it hits us right where it hurts and sometimes very much it catches us off guard. There's not much of a recovery from you're a loser, especially if you've just lost. Losing sucks. Now, The worst of the worst in this scenario is when a woman calls you a loser. Such an insult from a woman, especially one we're attracted to, can quite literally cause a guy to wither to the point where he doesn't ask another woman out for ages. That insult succeeds at having that man believe he is a loser and he will continue to lose. Now, here's the thing about we as men calling each other losers. More and more men nowadays are losing. It's a smaller percentage of men who are populating higher education institutions. Uh, We're not succeeding in the workplace as much as we used to. We are in a situation where good times have created weak men, which we've talked about at length in this show, and it makes men feel like we're losing. More men are giving up. More men are lacking ambition. 
hell, more men don't even know who the hell they are. They haven't found their character. They don't know what their core belief system is. We watch the political pundits argue with each other, calling people who have won the presidency of the United States a quote unquote loser and having literally millions of people take their side on Twitter and heaping hot coals upon the other side as such. What is it about men who are resilient in the face of so many men being losers that stands out? Well, first of all, they act like men. They know who they are. They have their identity figured out, and therefore they walk with integrity in life. When someone calls them a loser vis-a-vis their victories, what they know deep down is, hey, if you try to please everybody, you please nobody, so I'm going to get haters, and they can laugh it off. And I'll tell you what, the more winning you do, the more people you're going to have rooting for you to lose, because where there's a victory, there's a loss. Gentlemen, do not resign yourselves to losing. Do not think it's a foregone conclusion. Always remember what I'm telling you here today on this podcast, that being a loser is the worst insult anybody can ever level upon you. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you probably are already figuring out I'm about to say. The absolute worst scenario when a man is insulted by being considered a loser is when we call ourselves a loser. When we look in the mirror and say to ourselves, you're not a winner, you're not born to win, you are relegated to losing, you're destined to lose. Guys, do what it takes. Do the work to dig yourself out of this trap. Men are born to win. You are designed to provide and protect for your family, for those you love. And since it's your design, it's your destiny. And oh, by the way, If you have a losing streak going on right now, that doesn't mean it's forever. Pick yourself up. Do what it takes to build your confidence. Do what it takes to tighten up your worldview, therefore tightening up your character, your integrity, and then, yes, your confidence, and start focusing on winning. This may sound like very Pollyanna-ish advice to you guys, but it all starts with the breathtakingly simple concept of refusing to be a victim stopping the blame game with everybody else who has done unto you to cause you to lose. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Pick yourself up. Take responsibility for yourself and for your future success based on knowing who you are, what your purpose must be, and then get about the business of doing it. And I can tell you, there's nothing better than being a man who finally does what it takes to step up and focus on winning instead of accepting loss thereby gaining the respect of his fellow man, and, what's more, the love and admiration of beautiful women. Want to talk about this some more, or anything else? Scott at MountaintopPodcast.com. Be good out there. As always, visit MountaintopPodcast.com for more.